hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you how you can upload and sell your models on cg trader so let's go over what we need to have before uploading our assets so we need to have at least three versions of our meshes first one should be any default 3d software file format so i created this asset in maya so i have this maya sky file and i sculpted this asset in zbrush so i also have this zbrush project now you also need to export your meshes in two other formats at least uh, one should be fpx and other one should be obj the more formats you have the better next thing should be your texture maps so i have all these uh, texture maps here so you can texture this in substance painter as i did and exported all the maps here and the third one we need is some renders of our assets so when you have all these three things just go to cg trader and create your account and when you created your account and put all the details necessary just click on this uh, icon here and upload your assets so first one i'm going to just drag and drop or you can also browse here and upload your uh, meshes first so just uh, go to browse and uh, i'm going to go to the folder where my assets are and let's go to the meshes and i'm going to select everything and just upload now it's gonna automatically recognize the file format and assign the software name so as this one was maya sky so this has recognized as autodesk maya you can put your uh, maya version here so i created this in 2022 so i'm going to put this and uh, this one uh, you can just go to this section and search for zbrush then click here and the version of zbrush was also 2022 i'm going to put the same here now you can uh, either put these versions here you can just leave them blank it doesn't really matter so the next thing should be our textures so for the textures what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this folder and just compress it into a zip or rar file format and then go back here and go to browse and select this texture file and open it now our textures will be in a single file so that would be more convenient to whoever buys this asset now at last let's import our renders so go to the browse here and in the renders just select everything and upload now in the preview image you'll see all the render files you uploaded and you can just drag and drop any image to the first point if you want that to be your preview when anybody search for this asset so in the render image make sure you have at least four or five color renders and a couple of grayscale and wireframe renders so i have uploaded all these now this image looks just fine so i'm going to just keep this one you can also just change it like this or this so we have uploaded everything and uh, you can also add a youtube vimeo or marmoset preview if you have one so i don't have anything about this except for the tutorials on my channel so i'm going to paste my tutorial link here and uh, in my channel let's search for hammer and i have this tutorial here so i'm just going to assign the uh, first part so here it is i'm going to just right click copy link and paste here add preview now in this section we need to add some title so let's add blacksmith iron hammer game prop medieval asset and in the description just write down all the details about your assets so i have already written it down so i'm just going to copy and paste it so i have used this description for another asset so i'm just going to uh, copy and paste this here and just add some changes 
so you can also put the link of your art station so let's do that i'm going to go to my art station so this one the asset i am uploading so i'm going to copy the link and just replace this one with that and uh, here let's add some details so this model comes in obj fbx and ma format and we are uh, going to use the texture maps as written in this description so everything looks fine and uh, just add a little bit about this model so after adding the description here comes the tags so just add some relevant text according to your asset so let's put something like this and uh, it will also show you some relevant tags so you can just select and add some from here so after adding the tags just uh, go to the technical details so this is a cgi model so select this and we are also using textures so also select this make sure you have selected texture and materials if your assets are textured and uh, this asset is not rigged or animated so i'm not going to click any of these and it is a low poly and game ready and it is also pbr and uh, uv mapping is done and we haven't used any plugins so in the uv you have to define what kind of uv mapping you have done so my uv mapping is non overlapping so i'm going to select this and in the geometry uh, my mesh is uh, polygon mesh and in the polygon you have to put the polygon counts and uh, you can find that in maya or any other softwares so i'm just going to go to maya and i'm going to select uh, one of my hammer here we have two so just select one of your mesh and here in the poly count display you can see the faces and vertices and tries if you don't see this window here just go to display and in the heads up display enable this poly count so we have 2047 polygons and 2023 vertices so just go to your browser and put down the details and in the category let's uh, look for what category this asset comes in so i'm just going to select the industrial and uh, it's a tool so i'm going to select the subcategory tool and here you can put the pricing so i'm going to put the pricing for five dollars or you can also share this for free if you want and now when everything is done you can just publish this model here and you can also preview this model before publishing so click here and uh, and this is how your model will look like when someone open this and try to buy it so in this section you have all your details and here is the description so everything looks fine so i'm going to go back to edit and to publish this model i'm going to click on this publish and now our model is published
so now our model is live and anybody interested can buy this asset i'll also put the link in the description for this asset if you are interested and want to use this in your projects then you can buy this model so you can upload your models here and you can try and earn some extra money so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching